In today's NFL, where the passing game is more and more important, more and more prevalent, and has become a bigger part of NFL offenses, and teams are utilizing three and four wide receiver sets more and more, one thing that I think a lot of NFL teams are starting to look for more and more are those guys that can line up both inside in the slot and then outside either at flank or split end. They want that versatility, and even if those guys can't do that on a consistent basis, they do want those guys that can line up in the slot that could be explosive playmakers for them because, like I said, so many teams are going with base offenses with three wide receivers. And when I look at Paul Richardson from Colorado, he kind of fits into that mold to me. When I look at the strengths of his game, first and foremost is quickness and speed. He's got it, and he's got it in abundance. You know, he might not have run the fastest 40, but when I look at his game film, I see a guy that can get open, a guy that can fly. He's also a guy to me that can line up both on the inside in the slot, and he can line up outside at either flank or split end. So he has a lot of positional versatility, which I think is very, very important. He showed an ability to me to be able to go over the middle and make some tough catches. He showed the ability to make those spectacular kind of athletic plays that you need out of a wide receiver from time to time. You could sit there and run all the great routes in the world, and you could sit there and do this and do that. But sometimes you just have to be able to go and make a play. And Paul Richardson showed that ability to me to go make those plays. Now, he ran a lot of quick screens, which you could say about most every wide receiver prospect. So, you know, he was one of those guys that I think will be underrated in terms of his ability to make plays in terms of run after the catch. I think his ability in that area is actually a little bit underrated. Again, a guy that demonstrated a solid ability to me, not a spectacular ability to run all the necessary routes, and a guy that showed me the ability to catch the ball and make plays and also be able to stretch opposing defenses vertically while having positional versatility to be able to line up either outside or inside. Now, in terms of the weaknesses to the gamers, opportunity areas, number one is going to be, as question mark is a big one, is durability. With a guy that's torn in ACL, especially being a skill position player like a wide receiver whose game is built off of speed, you know, now you wonder... Is that going to be a recurring problem? What happens if he tears that ACL again or if he tears his other ACL? Is he going to be a guy that's predispositioned to having some injury troubles? When you look at him, he's maybe about six foot, six foot one, but he's kind of rail thin, which makes you wonder if he will predominantly have to play out of the slot at the NFL level because he just doesn't have that big bulk. Of if he plays outside again against somebody like a Sherman or a Tlaib or a Revis or a Peterson, guys that can get up there and jam them and be physical, I have concerns about whether or not he's going to be able to just completely be wiped away from games and be taken out of plays. That's what I can see when I see him. Um, you know, He's a guy, like I said, that demonstrated an ability to be good in terms of the run after the catch, but he's not a lead in that area. He's not quite the type of player that a Beckham or a Watkins or a Cooks is in that area. And, you know, sometimes I saw him make some spectacular catches, and on the flip side I saw him make some catches where I, or make some drops where I was just like, ooh, what were you thinking? What were you doing? You weren't focusing on the task at hand, that's for damn sure. In terms of an NFL comparison for a Paul Richardson, it kind of fits into one of two categories for me, either a Jeremy Macklin or a Victor Cruz, and I will probably go more along the lines of a Victor Cruz, a guy that is best when he is able to play in the slot, go against opposing safeties or sometimes linebackers or nickel corners who can utilize his quickness, speed, and athleticism to be able to get open, can make some plays over the middle of the field, but most importantly, the biggest part of his game is being able to run the old nine route, to run the fly pattern, the streak pattern, whatever the hell you want to call it, and make those big-time plays down the field and also be able to make some plays on some slants and some quick screens, some quick outs, some hook patterns, etc. In terms of Paul Richardson's draft stock, I firmly have him in there as a mid-second round pick. That's where I think he is. I don't think he's an elite prospect in this wide receiver class, which isn't necessarily a knock, but I think he's better than some of the more well-known and well-respected draft prospects like a Kelvin Benjamin or a Jarvis Landy, what have you. I think he brings more to the table. He has more explosiveness in his game, and he's somebody to me that could be like a Jeremy Macklin in terms of some of the injury concerns, especially when it comes to the knees, especially with this kind of real thin physique. But his game reminds me more so of somebody like a Victor Cruz. But again, somebody that could end up being a starting wide receiver at the NFL level and be a good value pick in the second round.